Hello. What we're going to do here, we're going to demonstrate one of our three notchers. This is the Notch Master, uh, probably the most bang for the buck uh, notcher in the world, we feel. Um, basically, it's able to do zero to 50 degree notches. If you get much past 50 degrees, I know some people advertise their notchers go 60. The problem with that is, if you, if you notice, how, how do you make a 60 degree notch? You know, the notch is four inches long, and just because you put the scale there, don't actually mean you can do it. We, we try to stay in the real world as long as we can. And we're going to tell you that 50 degrees is more of a doable number. Anything past that isn't doable, or I would have, I would have made it go past that. Anyway, the notcher is adjustable this way. One of the features is all of our notchers use ground and polished stainless steel. This is a one-inch shaft right here, running in Torrington or U.S.-made um, um, needle bearings. You know, they're all lubricated and sealed, double sealed. Put it in there, nice, nice action right there. Also, another feature, this machine is able to do offset notching where we can raise the head up. Now, the beast, being a more expensive, heavier notcher, can completely clear the tube in its offset mode, much larger machine. This machine here can go up to 50%, and that's pretty much what you want. And what I'm talking about offset notching is um, you would basically just notch the top half of the tubing so you can lay another piece of tubing on top of it like a Lincoln log. That will give you a bend uh, uh, or a joint, weld joint, about 30% stronger than you would get if you just butted it right up against it. What we're going to start off doing here, we're going to notch uh, just a standard 90 degree notch, no big deal. Um, what we're going to want to do, put the tube in maybe about a third of the way. You don't actually want to put the tubing into the center of the saw. Um, if you move it out a little bit, what you'll see is you leave yourself enough room for a nice chamfer on the weld. You know, you don't have to chamfer it later. It makes it very easy. Um, so probably about right there is probably pretty good. We're going to tighten down this clamp. Now this block up here is really just there to keep it from losing the clamp. There's, no, there's nothing structurally that it's doing other than keeping the clamp from falling on the floor. Um, what we're going to do is take our drill. It doesn't take much drill. Um, it's got to go the right direction though. All of our shafts have flats machined into them already so that the grill chuck will grip pretty good. What we're going to want to do is we're going to adjust it to zero. We have scale back here, like I said earlier, zero to 50 degrees. Um, basically, just put your Allen wrench right here. If you get any chips in there, don't worry about it. Just blow them out, you know. Um, set it on zero degrees. And tighten her down. Come on, baby. Tighten down for me. And you're going to want to snug it down pretty good. Um, keep it from creeping on you a little bit. Um, and that's pretty much it right there. All right, let's go ahead, spray it with a little bit of WD-40 or whatever you happen to have around. I want to use a little bit of oil because naturally we are cutting metal on metal. Um, before we do this, one note. This is nothing more than a common everyday Home Depot buy metal hole saw. Eight or nine dollars. Do not be fooled into trying to buy sixty, eighty dollar hole saws. They work no better. In fact, actually they'll work quite a bit worse because they're longer and um, they tend to buckle on you. These here will give you about 200 notches per blade and at $9 a blade can't hardly beat that. Anyway, let's get going right here. We're going to feed a nice steady feed um, until we get through it. Alright, that's half. And that's through it. I don't know how long that was. It's not very long, you know. Um, do we have another piece of sample tubing, please? Let's see. There's our notch right there. And I didn't quite have the head adjusted exactly right. I was kind of late at night. But anyway, there's your notch right there, you know. Um, you can see pretty much the quality of the notch. Now let's quickly do an offset notch so I can show you what I'm talking about. And what we're going to do, we're just going to put the tubing in it here. And we're going to adjust it up quickly. Um, it's all marked off in the, in the scale on the side of how high to raise it. Let's take the drill off so it's a little bit easier to raise. We're going to loosen up our nut right here. Put on our reading glasses. And we're going to go up on the scale. Let's go to 0.75. Actually, we'll go a little bit more now. We'll go about right there. All righty. Let's see. Yeah, that'll be good. All righty. Once again, pop on the drill. Come on, baby. There you go. Spray down our tubing. And we have a sample, and away we go. 
Nice, easy feet. Don't try to force it. Now, we could have gone a little deeper in that. I just kind of eyeballed it. And, you know, but essentially, what you've got here is the ability. Now, if we had had the, the saw blade a little bit lower, then we would have had a nice, even weld up like fixture like right there. And you would basically weld that up and end up with a very strong weld. Sprint car builders love that feature because being a stronger weld joint, it basically means they can make a lighter car, you know? Um, one other feature, it's designed to bolt down or simply C-clamp it to your welding table. When you're done making your notch, take the C-clamp off, put the baby up under the workbench, do your stuff. doesn't get in your way. So it's very, very portable in that respect. Um, all steel construction except for the aluminum bearing housing right here. Um, finest material we can buy, all CNC machine, guaranteed to do the job for you. That's the, that's the notch master.